in the bag but weirdly I bring fake tan and the reason I bring fake tan this one is by Tanya White Bits is because if you burn it looks dreadful doesn't it but hopefully I won't burn because I won't be out in the sun much being pregnant but fake tan will just take away the redness so top top tip um I've got my hello care uh, which is 50 SPF sun cream. Um, I've also got a lip gloss which has got SPF in and then just all the usual kind of like bits and bobs. Um, loving this beauty range, this is absolutely beautiful. This is by The Hero Project which is fantastic. Um, got my Tom Ford perfume. So yeah, that's gonna be where I get ready. Then this is the bathroom area. So it's got a nice shower in. Um, yeah, just quite, quite modern really toilet and then if you walk into the bedroom so we've already unpacked which I absolutely hate doing on holiday so there's not the only thing is there's not cupboards you know like for your underwear and stuff so yeah that's a bit random so we just have to use the bits at the side so yeah we've um already unpacked and um, put my trusty hi-fi bars <laughs> over here uh, always have to have a couple of packets of hi-fi bars just in case i uh, got my sunglasses my different handbags and stuff and then chris has put some of his stuff over here um so yeah it's a really nice bedroom really it's quite compact but it's it's perfect just for the two of us and then you've got the other window over here so it's a bit like a, a door really that you can open um color scheme's really nice the actual hotel is just beautiful so i can't wait to show you around that as well this is what I'm wearing tonight, it's just a chill night tonight um, so, and we didn't bring an adapter so I've not been able to do my hair <laughs> but I've just got on the um, ASOS maternity strapless dress from my last maternity shopping haul um, and then I've got this long dress which is actually from Zara um, so it is a dress but I'm wearing it as a cover up so that's today's outfit so it's a little bit cloudy today um, but it's meant to get sunny later so what we're going to do instead is just go for a little walk and find somewhere to have lunch so we thought that we would take you with us so let's go It is a really, really nice little cafe um, called Grand Cafe 1999. Um, and if I turn you around, it's literally right by the port. So I'm not sure if you can see all the boats there, but if you turn it around, it's so pretty. does lunch look that's a tuna salad which is just stunning and then we're just sharing a few chips <laughs> I wouldn't normally have them but obviously I can't drink alcohol and then Chris has had what was yours called um, centric special centric salad yeah so the restaurant is called centric so we're just gonna enjoy our lunch Hey guys, so we are heading off for dinner now. Um, I'm just wearing my hair up tonight um, and like a leopard print dress. Um, I've managed to burn myself, even though I've covered myself with SPF 30, so yeah, I'm not very happy about that, but never mind. Um, so we're just going for dinner uh, at the hotel and then we're going, going for a wonder, um, probably on a bar near the beach, so let's go. So as per every standard buffet, you just got a bit of everything <laughs> on the plate. You'd never eat like this at home. So I've got a little bit of potato, a little bit of rice, always after a beetroot. Got some sweet corn, got some cabbage, got some sprouts, uh, a little bit of beef goulash, uh, a little tiny bit of lasagna. And, uh, sprouts and beetroot. Yeah, sprouts and beetroot. And then I've got some fish. But I'm sure it'll all taste amazing and that's what buffet food's all about, isn't it?
I thought I'd uh, give a non-alcohol beer a go and it tastes basically like watered down shandy slash wee <laughs> but it'll can do I, can I... how do you know what wee tastes like? I don't know what wee tastes like but if I had to imagine what wee tasted like okay. it would be that <laughs> De dehydrated wee yeah how's your uh, gin Christopher was it nice one of my okay. one of my favourite drinks. It's okay. <laughs> For anyone asking, I'm not doing this spice man. Is that okay to drink, Carly? If you're okay. Yes, I don't mind. I don't mind you drinking. If I minded, you wouldn't be. <laughs> it's nice. Enjoy. Morning, so we've just woken up and we're just going to go for breakfast and then I think we're going to go and have a look around um, one of the markets here. So it's quite early, it's 8am, um, so yeah, I'll take you to the market with us if we go. down by the um, pool and I've got one of my maternity um, swimming costumes on today. I'm just going to keep the bump covered up because it got a little bit hot yesterday. Um, Paul is looking amazing and I'm just going to show you what book I'm reading. So this is called The Learner Parent and it's by Sam Avery and it's Confessions of a, a Twin Dad and it is absolutely hilarious. And then Chris is reading the subtle art of not giving a fuck, <laughs> which apparently is really good as well. So yeah, this is our position for the day. So I've just come for lunch. Um, we're just walking down uh, what they call the pine walk. Um, I'm absolutely boiling, but I've just got my new look um, dress on. <laughs> Chris is in the background. They're nice sunglasses. Aren't they? Which ones are they? Oh, these years. Turn to the side. Oh, they're nice. So yeah, we're just gonna go find somewhere for lunch. I did suggest going to a supermarket and uh, getting some food and making ourselves, but yeah, Chris, Chris weren't feeling that, so holiday. we've come out for lunch, I know. So this is what I've gone for for lunch, just um, a chicken salad and it's come with um, egg as well, because it's like goat's cheese. And then we've just had a few chips as well. I'm not gonna eat the bread. <laughs> Imagine if they uh, sell them in the spa at home. So I'm just getting an, an ice cream and Chris has gone for the Magnum sandwich and I'm going to get a Solaro. They're only five cents. So this is what I'm wearing out tonight. 
Um, going comfortable tonight, so it's a really soft uh, material and it's got the bandeau effect, which I really, really like. Uh, and this is ASOS Maternity and it's in my previous shopping haul video. And guess what? I'm going to wear flats, <laughs> which I never do. So yeah, we're just going to get some dinner and then go for a walk. See you in a bit. And sorry, hair and makeup wise, um, we've just gone for like a neutral lip, um, quite a sort of shimmery um, kind of look really, I suppose, quite a glowy highlighted look, uh, not loads and loads of makeup and straight hair. So don't you absolutely hate washing and drying your hair on holiday? Chris just said to me, my God, it takes a long time for a girl to get ready, doesn't it? I was like, yes. Yes, it does, especially does bloody thing. Yeah, especially when you're using them shitty hair dryers that are attached to the wall. They're off just going. <laughs> Don't mess it up, I've just done it. So right, we're gonna go get some food. <laughs> this is what I'm wearing tonight. This is my ASOS um, maternity dress. So just again, really floaty, really comfortable, perfect for when you're on holiday. Um, I'll add a link to the previous video that I did on it if you wanted to get one. So we're going out for dinner now. It's the England game. So we're gonna have dinner and then watch the match. So I'll take you with me. Hair and makeup wise, um, my hair has got a little bit ratty uh, around the pool today, but I don't want to wash my hair every single day on holiday. That would literally drive me insane. So we've gone um, just loose waves today and then quite a uh, natural kind of makeup. So quite a nude lip, um, pinky eyes, and yeah, as always, quite a lot of highlighter. <laughs> So I'm going to try out this um, zero alcohol Astrilla and give that a whirl and I'm trying to decide what to have off this menu. Um, we need to come somewhere where the football was on so <laughs> Chris is facing the football and I'm not. Um, and I'm just trying to decide whether I want Pad Thai or the teriyaki salmon but to be fair I would literally eat everything from this menu. So this is my view which is a sea view with England flags everywhere and then if I turn you around this is Chris's view lots of England TV <laughs> I'm only looking at you guys. So I don't think he's going to be focusing on me tonight do you? <laughs> I think I chose well this looks amazing Chris's looks nice as well what was yours again? Salmon Wellington looks like Salmon Yellington. Yellington. Or Yellowington. And you've got a prawn. I can't be doing with them prawns. Glad that's yours and not mine. So this is the um, square at night, and obviously the football's on. So there's a lot of people uh, watching the football, but it's really lovely here at night. It's a little bit more going on. Um, there's little cars that you can hire out for the kids. So they're all just the kids. They're all just cruising around in their Mercedes and their Aldis at the moment, so... We're just going to find somewhere to um, sit and have a drink. But yeah, it's nice around here. Definitely a bit more livelier than other parts. The Pine Walk is where we normally go, so we've only been here in the day before, so... It's another option. So, the game is finished now and we're just so rock and roll. We're just having a cappuccino, but to be honest, this place is lovely. It is just called Cappuccino and they've got like a really nice terrace over there and there's another restaurant over there in the sea and it's just really, really pretty. So, and then sat over there, if I can zoom in, is Carol and Mark Wright Senior. <laughs> so if you watch Towie, then you'll know who they are. And uh, what did you just ask me, Chris? Who did you think was with them? <laughs> I don't watch it. What did you say? <laughs> yes, you can. Just say it. It's not your fault. You don't watch it. Who did you ask if it was there? <laughs> <laughs> nanny Pat. <laughs> he said he sat Nanny Pat. I said, bloody hope not. She's dead. <laughs> Bless her. I absolutely loved Nanny Pat. I think it might be a conspiracy because she's definitely there. <laughs> no, that's just another old lady, darling. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to sit. Um, don't you just love when you're on holiday just to people watch? I think it's one of the best things to do. Just watch everybody walk by. 
I just want to quickly tell you about um, some tips that I picked up about watching TV abroad while you're away. Um, on my iPad and on my mobile phone, um, after some advice from some of my followers, um, what I've done, I've downloaded a VPN app um, and the one I went for is Zoog. Uh, or Zog, I don't know. Um, there's all different ones. There's, um, yeah, there's quite a few, but they're free. And basically, what this will do is block your um, IP address, so it thinks that you're in the UK rather than being in a foreign country. Because I wanted to watch Love Island, so when I'm getting ready, I don't stay in and watch it, guys. I go out and Sunday, but when I'm getting ready, um, you can't watch the ITV hub out of the UK, so I was missing um, Love Island. So I thought, rather than just, you know, <laughs> get ready with nothing to watch, I'll um, download one of these and then you can connect. So I've been watching it on my iPad and I even managed to watch an episode down by the pool today. So thanks for those tips, guys. I had to pass them on because I thought it was such, it's such a good find. Evening. So I've just done my hair. Uh, we've got a little gold um, headband in tonight just to add something a bit different you know and uh, we're gonna go to a restaurant called stay restaurant um, it's on the port and it's meant to be really really nice so we're gonna do that as it's Saturday night so are you ready Chris you're wearing Sophie's favorite tight white trousers again yes yeah, she's watching Sophie <laughs> If you don't know what we're referring to, my friend made a hilarious comment on my uh, my Facebook Fopaholic page <laughs> about Chris's trousers, so we'll leave that to their imagination. <laughs> right, let's go. So we're just at um, one of our favourite bars, having a drink before we go to the restaurant, and I managed to find this alcohol-free beer, and everybody said this one's actually really nice, and it is. So thank you very much, and it's really low sin as well when you go for alcohol-free beer. Obviously it's not quite the same, but at least it gives you some of the taste. How's your beer? that has got alcohol in, darling. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible. You'd much rather have mine, wouldn't you? <laughs> so this is the restaurant. It looks like it has like massive pineapples everywhere. But you can see um, all the boats from over there and there's loads and loads. Chris has got sun in his eyes. I bought my sunglasses out every night. <laughs> and tonight as I'm not bringing them out and the sun is like... Right in his face, bless him. <laughs> but yeah, it's a massive restaurant. I've got loads and loads of seating, um, indoor and outdoor. So yeah, it's beautiful. So I've just bought this out, which is obviously just complimentary. And it's a pea and then like a tomato thing on top and some bread and some of these little things so this is my beef stroganoff with a thimble of rice it looks nice it's just not very big and then chris has had uh, was it a trio of fish no from the raw it's just fish uh, looks good though i need to fill this quick before it melts <laughs> move your hand do you want it to melt it's Chris's dessert. Brought it by accident. Not jealous at all. Don't you think a pool at night is just so pretty? There's just something about it, isn't there? So we just got back to... You stole the... off me. I didn't. We just got back to the hotel. Um, I don't think we've come back any later than about half eleven. <laughs> I said that. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going up to our room now. Um, these are the rooms. Half ten. I said we... I don't think we've got back. Only later than half eleven since we've been here. <laughs> they don't listen, do they, these men? I think Chris is still recovering from the uh, slap I gave him earlier for asking me why I don't go brown. Didn't you, Chris? You said to me, oh, how come you don't go as brown as me? <laughs> Factual question. Oh, it's quite insulting. Insulting? I do go quite brown, have you know? You're dark, I'm blonde. That's what I was asking. <laughs> why are you so blonde? Why are you so dark? <laughs> you didn't ask me why I was blonde, you asked me why I didn't tan. Technology might have been different, but. Uh, whatever. Whatever, Sir Ryan. Hey, 
so it's our final evening uh, here in Porto Palenza and we're just trying to decide what to do, where to go, what to eat. Uh, we are half bored so we do get food at the hotel but you know what it's like, it just gets a bit samey doesn't it, having buffets. Um, I've just got really, really minimal makeup tonight. This is like basically no eyeshadow, no eyeliner, hardly anything. Um, and it's actually quite nice. And I'm wearing flats again as well. So yeah, um, I'm starting to get into the flat life. <laughs> Never ever thought I would say that. So yeah, uh, we'll take you with this, but we're not sure where we're going yet. So in the end, it was a uh, barbecue at the hotel. So we spotted it was a barbecue, so we've gone for that instead. Um, so I've got jacket potato, some coleslaw, um, some chicken off the barbecue and then just loads of salad and some fish. All of these like little bars at the end of just really, really small piers are just so nice. It's um, fairly busy tonight as well. Considering it's Sunday night, I'm surprised how many people are out and about. So we're just in um, one of our favorite bars now and the reason it's one of our favorite bars is because they have comfortable sofas um i can't remember what it's called diana something like that but it's lovely it's right by the beach you can people watch and it's comfortable and they sell alcohol free beer so it's all good i just got back to the hotel um and i'm gonna catch up on love island now <laughs> how sad is that um finished off with a cappuccino after my zero alcohol beer and diet cokes um and chris had a coffee bay this which i think you enjoyed didn't you so i'm just gonna take my makeup off now um overall I'd say Porto Plenza has been really, really nice. We've had the, literally the most relaxing holiday I've ever been on in my life. Um, it's quite strange not to drink uh, and not to, you know, go to late bars or wake up with a hangover, but it's exactly what we needed. So it's been really, really nice. Um, Porto Plenza is fab. Everything's very self-contained. You don't have to walk far to get to any of the restaurants or the bars. There's so many choices of restaurants. It's unbelievable. Um, the hotel is amazing really really like the hotel and um, quite surprising really that it's not a high star but i think it's quite a small hotel and it hasn't got lifts and things like that so those sort of things tend to influence how many stars they're given but overall can't fault it <laughs> really can't fault it and um, the only thing i'd say about porto Plenza is if you like loads of entertainment so if you like loads of singers or you like you know bands or really big busy bars with like comedians or anything like that and um, it's not really that sort of place i don't know whether it's because it's end of june beginning of july but there just wasn't really any entertainment um there was a little bit at the hotel but <laughs> overall it wasn't great so yeah that's the only thing it's lacking really um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed this uh, little mini vlog from our baby moon. Um, I think our next holiday is going to be extremely different. And I'm just going to uh, go and take my makeup off and catch up on Love Island. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.